Did you ever wonder if you can change your Amazon store name, the store name that shows in your listing pages or under your seller profile page? Then the answer is simple yes. It's a very easy process so make sure that you watch the entire video for all the steps. Now before we are getting into the video, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, click the bell so for every new video that I release you can get yourself up to date and notified via email and leave a comment I subscribed so I can personally reply to your comments. Now one last thing, make sure that you go to sourcingmonster.com and you subscribe to the newsletter because I share their tips that I don't share here and you can be on top of your Amazon FBA game and journey. So let's start with the video now. Okay, so before I show you the steps on how to change your store name, I would like to really talk for a little bit about how to choose your brand name. Uh, so make sure that, okay, so before we're getting into the video, I highly recommend that you watch the video on how to find and decide on a name for your brand on Amazon. So it's a video that I made a couple of months ago that is still relevant, uh, but I'll give an example, like a couple of points from that video. So choose a name that will not limit you and can be applied to a couple of niches. So um, if, you, of course, you know already what you're going to sell and you, for example, going to sell supplements, you can include the supplements word in your uh, um, in in your brand name. Um, it it will it will create uh, to the buyer better a feeling that you're specializing in supplements instead of choosing a general name. But I like to not really limit myself, so I choose names that are not really limiting me and can be applied to a couple of niches. Uh, so that's my tip for you. Of course, it's not black and white. It's how you individually looking at it, but these are just guidelines. Use some online tools to get inspiration like name generator. So you can Google it and you can put like company name generator and you can get some ideas from those online to tools. Make sure that the trademark is available. This is something that I didn't check before and I was lucky enough to have it available. Uh, but make sure that you go to USPTO uh, for trademark and search for the trademark to make sure trademark name uh, of the brand name you intend to use and make sure it's available. Um, uh, make sure also that the CAM domain is available so you can purchase a domain and set up your own store, your own uh, external store as well and to the actual change. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, the first thing you of course need to log in into Seller Central, make sure that you are logged in as the main account holder. Other user will not have the permissions level to do this, so make sure that you log in with the account that you uh, signed up with when you opened the account. Go to your uh, settings tab in the top right corner of your dashboard and click on the account info. So we are going to go to Seller Central. Um, let me show you here. If you notice, I, I have here your account is at the risk of deactivation. Uh, and it's not really related to the topic, but I'll show you a little bit about this. So on Q4, they obviously had some limitations, so I decided to do some FBM listing. So out of those FBM listing, I had one order that the customer didn't get it. So he left like a negative review. And due to that, I have these like issues. So I didn't really was aware enough like before the rate that they're basing it. It's only on 24 hour orders. So that's kind of putting me uh, on not really risk because they will not really do anything. It's just one order. But still, see how for FBA, I sold like 20,000 orders in the last 60 days and all of them were correct. But let's go back to the topic that we created this video for. We're going to go to settings, account info. And then at the side here, you will see welcome and then your brand name. You want to click on edit here. And then for each marketplace, you can change the display name and the, the, the store display name. So you can click on edit here and then change the display name here. Pretty simple, very straightforward. Um, and, you know... Uh, I'm sure that you know you you will find how like how easy it is now to summarize this choosing the store or brand name is something that is individual for each seller but by following the principles I show on how to choose your brand name you can be aware of some mistakes me and other sellers did and finally if you decide to change your brand name then you saw the steps on how to do it which is very easy um, 
that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. Please like the video, it will help me. And of course, subscribe if you didn't subscribe to the channel so you can get all these updates and value right to your email. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.